Hey, what's up guys? A fat camel here and I'm playing Blade and Soul again. Uh, and I have made a new character. She is the witch. Whoa, why is it so blurry? Alright, well, okay. Uh, and there is a male version of the witch. Uh, obviously a wizard. But there is a set appearance, like a default appearance settings. Uh, and the, wi the wizard has to be an old guy. So there's like a little backstory to the characters or the class, all the classes. Um, and for the witch, it says she is a prodigy. Um, she has discovered her magical powers at a very young age um, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then for the wizard, it says a little backstory is he is full of experience and uh, so which makes him, you know, an old guy. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that I think that's cool. There's a little bit a little bit of backstory to the to each of the classes, um, and it ha they have their set def default appearance settings. So yeah, um, so the wizard and the witch are one of the one of the four, yeah, four classes. Yeah, one of the four classes that has the female version and the male version. Uh, obviously, wizard and witch. And for ninja, it's ninja, which is the male ninja, and then kunoichi, which is the female ninja. And uh, there's swordsman. Uh, the male swordsman and then the female swordsman and then there is also a female defender and then male defender they're called warriors in this game but I for lack of a better term I'm gonna use defender because they use shield and sword and that whereas swordsmen they only use swords and they also have bows at their back All right, and for the for the uh, for the classes that have both gender genders, I believe they have the same set of skills, but the animations look different. So they, you know, they added a little bit of variety uh, by you know adding adding new animations and different animations to the same basically the same class. So I thought I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay slash combat uh, for the witch. Um, it's I'm still very low level, I'm level 12, so I can't really do some of the cool stuff. Like uh, for later on, you can teleport. Teleport is pretty cool. Bam. And then you can uh, you know summon some lightning bolts. Pretty cool. Boom. Yep, lightning bolt. And then you can like call Blizzard. This is really cool. I like this. Look at that. It's like lightning. I mean, ice shards raining down from the skies. That's really cool. And then earthquake. Boom. And then. Uh, one other skill that I really liked was summon meteors. Boom! Yeah, so I can't really do those cool stuff because I'm not high level enough yet. But I will show you guys a little bit of combat. So left click, left click for uh, witches is a staff attack. It's a melee staff attack. And it restores mana, and, but it does very, very minor damage, as you can see. And then this is comboed with uh, F, which is your dagger staff. But the dagger staff does a lot of damage, so you have to, you don't have to worry about, you know, doing damage. Um, but it is just one like stab, and that's that's it. There it is. It does a lot of damage. Uh, it one shots these uh, goblins or imps. 
all right and your right click is your basic man like range uh, auto attack I guess uh, it's magical arrow like that I'm gonna sh shoot it in the sky so you can see it better and holding it down looks like this so uh, it's pretty fast uh, and as you can see at the bottom my mana bar is depleting it like consumes two at a time so there we go all right and then my one skill is fireball and then it attacks multiple targets so that's pretty cool and then my two skill is ice arrow and I believe this also attacks multiple targets uh, I guess it doesn't but it uh, it puts them in place and puts them on a knockdown state uh, when, when they come out of the ice prison alright I'm, I'm gonna make sure it, if this is a single target oh no it's, it's yeah it's AoE Oh, whoa. All right, and then for the for move and which like, it's it's a little strange that they put the key binding like this, but you know you know your left click is uh, your staff attack, but when you do it with the movement key, it does this, which is. Which is pretty strange because your left click, uh, you know, your regular left click is like a melee staff attack that does barely any damage, but uh, when you combine it with the movement key, it's like a it's like a burst of uh, earth magic, like that. It's pretty cool. All right, so that's that's um that's about it for the skills that I can perform right now. But uh, yeah, still very. Oh, actually, no, I haven't I haven't showed you guys the lightning chain, the coolest one yet. So this is shift and right click. Look at that, pretty cool. Yep. So, you know, I I thought it would be a little little underpowering cuz I mean, um I don't know, for your fireball, there's a casting time and then uh the ice arrow doesn't really do much damage and then the lightning chain isn't uh it, it's not like a huge AoE, it only hits three or two targets at the same time. Uh, but, you know, obviously you're ranged, so you're, you know, you're at an advantage there. So, and later on you'll be able to just uh, do a single fireball into fireball explosion into meteor, uh, or is it summon meteor? So this is a uh, fireball. And then later on at level 4, L18, you learn Fireball Explosion. Uh, after casting Fireball, you just click right attack, I mean right once, and then right click once, and then it does an explosion. And after that, uh, you can summon Meteorites. So, and that's a lot of damage. Um, so that, you know, witch and wizard, obviously, uh, somebody who does magical attack with uh, elemental damage um, does burst damage. It's like a, it's kind of generic in every other game. They they do the they for the damage model they do they basically do the same thing where uh, you cast a really big one skill or chain of one skills uh, and then it does a shit ton of damage. That's, I guess that's uh, the same for the witch and the wizard class in desert, black desert. Uh, but I don't mind it. I mean, that's what that's what 
that's what their class is all about, you know, summoning, summoning really, really powerful skills that, uh, that does a shit ton of damage and destroys a whole group of mobs in just one go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I think that's really neat. They, they kind of kept, you know, that generic, you know, magic, magic user model, witch and wizard model. But then there's also like a staff attack, and then that combos into uh, like a dagger. And then your staff attack hits multiple targets. And then your uh, your your uh, dagger staff does multiple targets also. So yeah, so every every single uh, uh, attack in this game hits multiple targets it just uh, for the for the wizard it's not as com uh, it's not as like satisfying because your staff attack is very very minuscule damage and your F your dagger stab is just one stab so it's not really satisfying in like a melee if you want to go around like slashing your sword or axe or whatever uh, it's not satisfying like that but I mean you, if you want, I mean, some people really want that like big damage. Like they want to see the big numbers. Uh, then witch and wizard is your class. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna call it right here, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.